A Kent teenager wonders if military action in Syria could lead to World War III. And that thought came up in a heated classroom debate on the topic that's concerning Americans of all ages. Our South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson reports. The rebels have been asking for help from the UN for over a year and a half. Well, it may sound like the floor of the United Nations. How would killing innocent people be evening the playing field? This is Mr. Christensen's ninth grade world history class. We're beefing with Russia right now, okay? <laughs> Once a week, they talk about current events. That's what we've always done throughout history. We're like, we're better, we're America. One guess what the topic is this week. Should we get involved? Most of these students hadn't heard of Syria a few weeks ago, and they can't vote. But that doesn't mean they're not worried about the U.S. getting involved in Syria. All those people are going to be coming and attacking us with nuclear weapons and the world's going to blow up. There should be no violence in the world and we have the military strength to stop that, don't we? Mr. Christensen encourages his students to talk about what's going on today. He says that can inspire them to appreciate history. Kids will reference this to Rome, they'll reference this to World War II, and now they have a context to understand why it's important that we're studying those events. What if that was me? What if I was in Syria and I was one of those kids that was there, my neighborhood was getting bombed. Nika Sai, who's 14, doesn't like it when adults assume teens are ignorant about the world. She says whatever's decided about Syria could easily impact her generation, and they're starting to learn that. We're not adults yet, so we don't necessarily have a big say, but we can still get the word out and have that flowing in our minds, and it prepares us for our future. All that. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. The majority of those students from Kent Meridian High School want the U.S. to try to resolve the problems in Syria diplomatically, not militarily.